Okay, so today on the vlog, I have a special treat for you guys. I decided to do some men's cutting. I got a cool mannequin from Pivot Point, so thank you to them. Uh, what we did was a disconnected undercut. It's got a lot of wave and texture on the top, so I played with that a little bit. Uh, we also carved in the part uh, with the scissor. So you can do it with a razor blade as well, or clippers or whatever you want, but we did it with scissors today. Um, and that's pretty much it. You guys are gonna like it. We're gonna get started with the step-by-step. -step. Make sure you post in the comments below. Thank you guys for all the comments, the love, everything that you're sharing uh, in the comments. I love seeing it. So let's get started with our step-by-step. -step. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna start off this haircut by section off the head. The left-hand side line is our part. So right there is our parting. And the other side's gonna go a little bit deeper, um, which will be our disconnection side. Now we're going through clipper over comb. I'm working diagonal back. Really what I'm trying to do right now is determine the length that I want the haircut. See the flow of the hair, um, especially when somebody has longer hair and you're going shorter. I like to start off and just kind of work my way down to see how that hair is going to fall. And especially on a mannequin, I, I want to see how that's going to fall as well. I want you guys to really see uh, and remember that I'm working that clipper from the face back to the back of the head. Um, that's going to be important when we get to the next side. So I'm just working through tapering it. So I'm starting closer to the head towards the bottom. And then as I work my way up, I lift the comb out. The more you lift the comb out, the more weight you're going to build up. So you want to make sure that you're building up the right amount of weight that, that you want and that your guest wants. So in, on this side, now you're going to see I'm still working that clipper from the face to the back. It's really important that you keep the same flow with every tool that you use. So whether you're using scissors or clippers, um, I like to make sure that my blades are moving in the same direction because that's going to keep the hair flow going in the same direction. So still working diagonal back, getting that bulk out of there. Now I'm going to move into my scissors. This scissor I got back out for, I haven't had it out in quite a while. This is my blacksmith fit scissor. It's a six and a half inch scissor. Pretty much works for any type of cutting. This was the first scissor I ever got from Mizutani. And every time I go back to it, I don't understand why I don't use it more often because it's such an awesome scissor. So now I want to focus on uh, scissor over comb. This is going to be my detail work. And I know a lot of you out there are thinking he could do this with clipper blades or clipper guards uh, and have it done. Now, my thought process on this is I like to really work. I have the freedom when I'm working scissor over comb to move, shift this, the comb in, shift it out as I'm moving up the head. The head is not a perfect shape. So when you're running a clipper over it, Sometimes for me, and this isn't for everybody, I, the, I get that bounce of the clipper guard on the head and it's riding the ridges of the head. So I would rather have a more custom feel um, using a comb and working one little section at a time. That's just me personally. I know a lot of you out there use the clipper guards, totally cool. And a lot of people do beautiful work with them. But for me, uh, in this type of cut, it's not super short. I like to use scissor over comb. So I'm going through just doing a little detail work around the ears. We'll do more with a clipper later. Uh, and then just tapering that edge. So I went through quickly with the clipper over comb. Uh, and then I go through and I start really detailing the edges with the scissor over comb. You notice how I tap the hair into the comb there. That just allows me to kind of lock the hair in and then work that scissor over comb. And now what I'm doing is I'm looking on each each side. So I'll I'll step back, I'll take a look at it from every angle, and I want to make sure that I have a nice flat feel and, to the scissor over combed section. And I'm working, you'll see when I work up, I want to take that weight line out a little bit. With a mannequin, it's tough to get that weight line out, but as I work around that ridge, my comb will actually follow the round of the head a little bit. All right, so now we're going in with our T-trimmer. This is also from Andis. Um, just going through and detailing the edges. There's not a lot of uh, freedom in a mannequin, but I, I do, you know, I like working with mannequins because, first off, I spend a lot of time doing these cuts to make sure that I can give you guys the detail work that we did, we want. And sometimes when you're working with a real guest, it's, they're more antsy to get out of the chair. So uh, we take what we can get. 
All right, so now I'm working with a, I'm carving in the part with my scissor. All I'm doing is keeping that steady blade and drawing that line. This works really well. It doesn't seem like it would cut that much hair. It doesn't, but it does cut that perfect line in there. So if you guys want to try that out, I think it's a really cool trick. And it's not shaving in the part, but you could always detail your line and then go in and shave it after if you want to. So I'm overdirecting everything back to the crown. I'm really connecting the, the uh, mid part of the haircut and the back. Um, so it's starting off first three sections, uh, go back to the previous. So we're creating more of a square feel. And you can see my top diagram. That was really late last night that I did that. And it looks crazy, but we'll take what we can get there as well. Uh, so now I go through first three sections are to the previous, so a traveling guide, and then we move to a stationary guide when we get three sections in just to build a little extra length in the front. We got a Ruzel pomade. I love this stuff. Uh, so if you guys haven't checked out this company, they're really awesome. So we're going to start by putting that in the hair, kind of slicking down the sides a little bit, and then throwing it in the top. I love the texture of this cut. I know it's a little bit crazy, and it it's kind of reminding me of my own hair. I don't really know. Uh, I guess maybe that was my inspiration this today, but um, I did see a lot of men's cuts uh, online when I was looking it up that have this kind of messed up style, extra long on the top. A lot of guys want to grow their hair out, but they want to keep that tapered side. So there you go. I love the curl and the wave and how it shifts through. So I hope you guys can use this cut. Let me know how you do in the comments below. And once again, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the share button, subscribe to our channel. There's a lot more haircuts to come, new haircuts every day at 10 a.m. Thanks for watching, guys. What do you think of my cut? What's up? You like it? I like it a lot. Do you wish you had this much hair? I wish I had that much hair. I got that much hair on my face. <laughs> That's true. <laughs>